All right, boys, what up? Today, we got ourselves another Miata. So, pick this thing up. Uh, it had the crank issue, crank wobble issue. Uh, it is a 1.6, and uh, it was kind of thought to be done for. And uh, I have another motor for it. The guy who sold me, get, provided me with that. You know, he was a pretty cool dude. Shout out to you, Nick, if you're watching this. Um, but so the plan was originally to swap the motors over. I ended up comparing the two, kind of just assessing how bad it was. Me and him talked, and he was like, you know, if you want to try to repair this crank, you can. But it's, he thought it was pretty well toast, which I agreed with him at the time. Then, I, you know, once I further started looking into it, I realized that this is actually a long nose crank style 1.6 Miata rather than the short nose that he thought it was. So uh, I kind of, you know, looked a little bit further into it, realized that there is a way to fix these uh, repair kit. So I just want to show a picture here of what the crank looked like right before, uh, right when I got it, when I took it apart. And uh, I guess starting by fixing this, what I decided to do is uh, I had nothing really to lose. So I uh, put a weld right on the left side, uh, left keyway, build up that edge. So with my TIG welder, just laid a nice bead of steel. I uh, used the crank gear, the timing gear for the crank uh, to just kind of grind the outer diameter of that uh, with a die grinder, with a, a sanding disc, kind of just get it until I could hit the perfect uh, perfect diameter where it perfectly just slip over. And then I used my Dremel to cut that keyway. So uh, you guys should be back now and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So you can see, the edge on the left is built up, right, and it's uh, relatively straight. I have my new keyway that fits in there. You know, here, oh, that's backwards. Fits in there though. Um, not much play at all. And uh, and then to assist this repair, what we're also doing was I bought something from Amazon. And uh, here it is. So it is uh, the Miata crankshaft saver. So you can use these on only the long nose and 1.6 Miatas, and then also uh, any of the 1.8s. The 1.6 short noses are really common for this issue. Like there's no really reason, it's just it was a poor design. But the 1.6s and the 1.8 Miatas, they have the same uh, keyway failure just because people, uh, it's thought because people aren't crank tightening down these, uh, the bolts, right, that hold the, the harmonic balancer to the uh, crankshaft and that's kind of what's causing it also using some you know you should use some blue loctite so the way this is going to work all right so we got our timing gear we'll slip that on um we do have a well, this keyway is longer than stock so there's a little there's a comparison for you so it's uh i don't know probably a quarter of an inch longer so we'll slip that in there So next we'll put our harmonic balance here. So as you can see, um, there is a giant air gap in between where the end of the crankshaft is and where the harmonic balancer is. So this uh, this air gap really kind of messes things up. So we'll close that up, kind of make it a really solid support using this, uh, this the kit. So uh, I'm gonna put that on there and I'll kind of just give you the idea. Alright, and then now we'll throw our bolts in. So that's kind of the general idea. So uh, I'm gonna pull back apart, kind of just show you the difference in the shaft length. Okay, so here is the uh, the saver on there with just uh, without the crank pulley. So you can see that it like triples the amount of surface area that that keyway is gonna have be supported to hold on to that. Uh, harmonic balancer so I mean it's just really simple idea but it works great so going next from here I'm gonna throw the timing belt back together and uh, and then I'll put this on there so we're just gonna you know run this with some blue Loctite and then uh, crank it down torque it down with torque wrench so time belts back on um, I'm just gonna pull this back off without I'm gonna keep the keyway in there pull this back apart I'm going to throw the rest of the motor back together and then uh, I'm going to get it running and we're going to make sure it's running right. Okay. 
Next, we are going to crank up the torque wrench to torque that main bolt to 116 foot pounds. One, two, three. All right, three clicks. Now we can just throw the rest of it back together. All right, so everything's back together. Uh, you know, everything should be pretty much full of fluid. I mean, I'll have to burp the coolant, but I mean, everything's back together the way it was. So I'm going to give it a first uh, startup and just see how it runs. guys well i guess that's about all i have for today so uh it's running good you know before it was sputtering it was uh you know barely idle it would you hit the gas you'd die uh not good stuff so uh, once again this is for the long nose cranks not the small nose cranks on the 1.6s and then uh, all the 1.8s so hopefully this helps so uh definitely like comment subscribe anything to uh, support me and uh, i guess i'll see you in the next one